Oh! Well, literally every time I look at this car, I find more work. The game would chase the rust. Welcome back to the workshop and if you don't remember or don't know my name's Phil and of the many projects which are currently going on this Range Rover Classic Balmoral Edition which was in a forest and is completely ruined is the current project on top of many others. In the last video I did explain that I've got a slight bet on with Billy. A little gentleman's agreement, a bit of a laugh between us. He has the organ to put together by Christmas in the convent, in the chapel in the convent, and they are getting on with that. I said I would try to make this roadworthy by Christmas. So we are racing each other with completely different projects, which is a, a bit of a laugh, a bit of a laugh. And of course, I did ask you what the next project after this should be because I need to start ordering parts. The general consensus did appear to be my white VW van. Um, as you saw by the little BMW, that's fairly, well, it's on the road. It's roadworthy. Uh, it just doesn't like starting in the cold. It smokes a bit. So that is something I can look at. This needs to be made roadworthy. So I'm going to start. This is a little side project. The main part of this isn't going to be uh, full channel content because I just want to get this road worthy for a second then I do think we'll move on to the van after but as the deadline is looming and the fun target is this vehicle let's get on with it part of today's issue is lighting take two with lighting right we've uh, we I have cut out this section that arch uh, been unpicking it mostly but on the left-hand side, uh, when Billy took it all apart, he cut out, oh, he removed this part of the inner arch and hasn't actually bought me another one yet, which is fine because I get to deal with the back of the sill down there, see that back of that hole, and there's some corrosion on that body mount. So not the end of the world, but I do need that's covering. As I don't have new ones, I haven't taken this one out. So I'm cutting around it. But I'm starting to think that might be a stupid idea and I should expose the sill and be able to see what I'm dealing with. Or I should just inspect the body mount and then cut around it and then save Billy some money. <sighs> Extra work, right. I don't want to be under this car. I... Oh, that's that's not really a sill anymore, is it? Ow! Oh. Well, literally every time I look at this car, I find more work. The game would chase the rust. And to let me tell you, it is a crap game to play. Right, where well, this sill is mullered. The fun, fun, fun. More holes. Yay.
We are almost there. So I'm going to save that lower arch. Ugh. Peeled back the top. And I'll just have to clean a bit more of that, but it looks like we should be sort of fitting-ish. Right. So. Da -da -da. We'll go to there. We'll sort of... Oh, well, that's what we are not fitting around at the moment. Apart from sharp edges. Okay. So that's the idea. And sort of clean up in some areas. Oh, getting excited now. We've got somewhere. Ta da! I've oh, got some more fiddling to make this all line up, and only then, when I've made this all sort of line up, will I get the other panel in to make sure it all sits where it's supposed to be, measure things like the distance of that from that, these sorts of bits and pieces. They're quite important, but we're starting to build the car back up. I just need to clean up a few more edges, paint a bit of stuff, let the paint dry, and then when it's all in place, start welding. And I am looking forward to that part, because after we've got this side in, I can do, there's a cross member for the boot floor. I can put the fuel tank back in, bolt up anything down here and do mechanically while it's easier for that boot floor in and we have finished a section which is a bit closer to the final finish right i'm going to carry on cleaning up this the areas where it is so it all fit properly paint it so the paint can dry and then i can start welding that up tomorrow and we are one step closer this has been quite a long step to be honest one step closer to that christmas deadline which will be quite funny if I make it or not. It is a bit of a laugh, everybody, please don't, uh, I'm not taking it too seriously, but it would be quite nice. Uh, it's nice to have a deadline. Uh, the other thing with this is once that rear end is sorted and the fuel tank's back in and I've sorted the brakes at the back, it is movable, which actually means, because we can then get it to start and run, I can put it onto the ramps here, which will mean I can do stuff that's underneath in the air, which is a whole lot better for my back. So working away for lots of reasons. Right. See you next time. Thanks for watching.